Hey guys, this is Kartik Akantwal from Apex Finsaw and I'm back with your daily dose of charts for tomorrow's trading session, the equity and the indices, both of them. Now, today was, a well, a, you know, first of the month and we had a really, really good trading session and I hope you guys did too. The watch list worked really nicely. We had a lot of target hits in the first session as well. Uh, we had a couple of stop loss hits too if I'm not wrong so, but overall it was a very very good green day and on the bank nifty side well in the morning itself our zones are triggered and uh, well I caught uh, about 240-ish, 240 to 250 points on uh, bank nifty so you know overall all things considered it was a very good trading session for us a good start to the month and we hope this momentum carries on and well I hope the same goes for you too now let's move on to the charts for tomorrow's trading session Starting with the first one, just dial. Just dial, uh, we're going to go for a simple role reversal. The trade is pretty much more or less exactly the same as what we had yesterday. Mm, we had a short at uh, 375, if I'm not wrong. And today we have just brought it down a notch to 373 just to add that slight bit of aggression when approaching our entries. With the stop loss going at 378, ideal targets at 1% on the downside. Moving on to the next one, uh, PL, uh, PL again, a simple uh, role reversal you know entry at play we had a support level that had acted as support multiple times in the past it even became a demand zone later on and uh, this time uh, well today it was you know signal all of a sudden uh, rejected from uh, that uh, particular price level so the idea is to take a shot at 1400 stop loss at 1420 ideal targets one percent on the downside moving on to the next one indescent bank now indescent bank we are going to go for a you know a structure analysis based entry it is or it has if you observe you know the movement that it has after forming the recent uh, highest point then it seems to have completed a lower low lower high formation so the idea is to take a short entry at your uh, nearest swing point which is at 660 stop loss at 670 ideal targets one percent on the downside moving on to the next one mfsl mfsl we're going to go for an entry in the direction of the trend now actually we were supposed to take a gap fill uh, trade but even after breaking the low of that impulsive green candle, it still could not, uh, you know, uh, melt down further. So the idea is to instead uh, take a long position from this demand zone that we have at 590. Stop loss at 582. Ideal targets 1% on the upside. Moving on to the next one, <laughs> Auro Pharma. Now Auro Pharma, finally, it has broken <laughs> out of that neckline that it had. And well, now, uh, if you remember, if you have seen the previous videos, I have talked again and again about how this neckline has acted as support and now it has broken. Now, since it has been broken, the idea now is to take a short position at that very neckline. 850 level is going to act as a resistance, uh, you know, this point onwards. That is what we see. Let's hope it actually does. So the idea is to take a short position at 850. Stop loss at 862. Ideal targets 1% on the downside. Moving on to the next one now, Bharat Forge. Now, Bharat Forge, we are going to go for a breakout trade on this one. We are going to go long above 500. If you remember, 500 has acted as an, you know, important level of resistance in the past. And every time that, you know, the price actually came under that, it witnessed a swift fall. The idea is to see that if the price is actually sustaining above that level, which is also a big round number, so psychological resistance at play too. If it is sustaining above that, we like to go for a long position. But if you're using SLM auto type, you can simply say take long positions above 500, stop loss at 493, ideal targets 1% on the upside. Moving on to the next one, uh, Lupin, simple, uh, you know, roll reversal here again as well. The actual entry was, uh, you know, more or less coming down to 968, 970, rounded up to 970, just to be on the safer side of things. Now, there are actually two things. Uh, there is a, you know, sort of flag formation in play too. But uh, as I always said, uh, don't trade the pattern formation, trade the pattern breakouts. If you have a breakout, if it is actually breaking out of that corrective channel, you can take a trade as per your discretion. But uh, as of now, the pattern is not validated. So the idea is to go for simple roll reversal here too. We are going to take a short position at 970, stop loss at 985 and the ideal targets 1% on the downside. Moving on to the next one. Now this is a new addition on our list. This is Balkrish Industries and well it follows technical analysis pretty well we have been tracking it since more than a year now i guess so the idea here is if you go simple by the phase analysis formation it has broken the uh, you know consecutive previous swing lows so it has invalidated the higher high, higher low formation now it should enter a you know lower low lower high formation so the ideal entry point at this case uh, or you know at this particular time would be at your nearest swing point which is at 1360 or 1365 1362 so the idea is to take a short position at 1362, stop loss at 1380, ideal targets 1% on the downside, a you know very clear trend friendly approach. 
moving on to the final one for today as our transfer we are going to go for a long position in this case because you know it has taken uh, support from this demand zone at 690 and it you know all of a sudden it went up it was a very very strong up move the idea is to take a long position at roughly uh, 40 uh, 30 40 percent retracement of that particular up move it is slightly aggressive let's see how it pans out tomorrow but uh, the trade goes for a long position at 697 stop loss at 688 ideal targets one percent on the upside now these are all the charts today we have made it nine and tomorrow we'll be coming with 10 scripts so uh, let's see we are increasing the watch list for you guys if you're happy with this let me know in the comments if you think that it is a lot of scripts for you to track and you want us to reduce it then let us know in the comments because well that is a fair thought too now moving on to the indices the zones are actually acting exactly as they are supposed to for uh, tomorrow i would say nifty you know we are stuck in a range of about 80 points from 11 450 to 11 520 if that range is being broken strongly upside or downside you can aim for a swift target of another 80 points so on the basis of that i would plan my entries uh, whether it does or not that remains to be seen tomorrow but i would prefer to go for breakout trades either long above 520 or short under 440 or if i'm being very very aggressive then uh, try to take ping pong entries with a small target expectation of 40 to 50 points between that range now when we come to the option chain for nifty we have immediate resistance at 11 500 more or less at the current market price with 564,000 added contracts significant resistance at 11 600 with 2.4 million standing open interest on the support side of things we have 11 400 as important sorry immediate support with 518,000 added contracts and significant support at 11,300 with 375,000 added contracts. Now, uh, one thing that I'd like to point out is I am not actually bearish on Nifty right now because, well, uh, even after the fall that it had yesterday, I'll take you to the daily time frame for a second. Now, even after the fall that it had uh, yesterday and, uh, you know, it formed a complete uh, bearish engulfing, but the low of that engulfing is still intact. So I have taken some uh, you know small positional longs on nifty as of now once again this is experimental this it's not really something that i would uh, you know pass on uh, to you guys the system but uh, that is my expectation for nifty as of now if you can see on the chart this engulfing is low as long as that is being protected as long as that is intact i don't really expect the nifty, uh, you know index to uh, fall down further so as of now i have some uh, small positional longs running on nifty and i do expect nifty to be anywhere in the vicinity of 11 uh, 700 11 800 uh, soon uh, let's see whether it goes or not but uh, that is my expectation once again this is an experimental setup so i might as well be wrong but the risk that i saw right now was uh, you know pretty small so i did not really hesitate much before taking it but that's just my bias positional trade on nifty i'm just trying something out now coming to the next index uh, that we have uh, bank nifty now on bank nifty again we have a range uh, from uh, 23600 to about 24000 depending on uh, which side this is broken on you know you can take a directional entry on bank nifty but on bank nifty honestly if you want to go for aggressive trades then you can uh, go for ping pong trades because we have a lot of zones so i generally go for breakout trades when we have uh, you know fewer number of zones uh, but higher quality ones but the zones on bank nifty right now are very very aggressively marked and uh, you know the strength of those zones is not really that much so you can go for aggressively uh, you know counter trend trades on bank nifty with smaller targets of course 80 to 90 points now when we come to the option chain we have immediate resistance at 24000 with 208000 added contracts we have significant resistance at 24200 with 182000 added contracts we have immediate support at 23500 with 180000 added contracts and significant support at 23,300 with 154,000 added contracts. Now, when we talk about the PCR for both uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty, both of them come close to 0.9, which is bearish in nature. But again, these are option buyers. These are pretty much speculative participants. Whether they are right or uh, wrong, that remains to be seen. But uh, well, you know, this brings an end to today's uh, analytical video. These are all the charts that I had to share with you guys for tomorrow's trading session. Uh, you know, I hope uh, you guys have a good green trading session tomorrow and uh, thank you so much for all your warm wishes and concerns regarding my health i am feeling a lot better now and i should be completely fine in a couple of days i hope fingers crossed and well if you want all of these charts the watches the uh, you know option chain analysis feel free to check out the telegram channel at the rate apex fence 
and even the uh, you know telegram and instagram handles too we post all of these things at all of the places so that you don't miss out on anything and uh, once again if you like the channel if you like the videos that we keep on posting every day don't forget to like share subscribe comment something nice and press that bell notification icon too thank you so much for watching guys hope you have a again hope you have a wonderful trading session tomorrow have a good night bye